how to reverse out of a parking spot. Put the car in reverse. We have a backup camera. We can use that to help us. But also I want to see clients move straight back. You can put your right arm on your shoulder, on the passenger seat. You always want to look and check. We're in North America. We want to stay on the right side of the driveway and we turn out. We signal our intention, the lights in our favor, go in the nearest lane. Keep your turn short. The surface we're on is asphalt. We're in North America, we're in the Midwest. A lot of areas around the country have different types of surfaces. It's hard to see the broken white lines. Use the tape to the left as a frame of reference. Use the tape to the right. The one at a diagonal will teach you depth perception. I'm gonna make a lane change. Stay smooth. Aim high, look ahead. We're in the middle lane. The two middle lanes are the smooth lanes. We have a lot of information. We have warning signs, which are yellow and black. Pedestrian crossing, that's pedestrian activated. It's similar to a hawk. Not a hawk bird of prey, but it's a pedestrian activated crosswalk signal. It's a Tesla. I'm gonna maintain good speed. You don't wanna be behind trucks carrying things. I'm gonna get over one lane to the left. I wanna accelerate through. You saw me double look, a car was in my blind spot. Their door is getting ready to fall off too. What the heck? <laughs> they were supported potty on the side of the road. Get out of here. That's real. So that thing can blow over. So imagine if you're using the bathroom in there. It can blow over, oh my God. But you gotta go, you gotta go. So I wanna squeeze my brakes. This is real life, only in North America. Uh, so I wanna squeeze my brakes. There are the police pulling over someone. Law enforcement, you gotta do your job. Speaking of job, I'm a state certified driving instructor. I teach teens and adults. We want to avoid being pulled over by the police, right? You've gotta follow the rules. We don't wanna be behind them hauling a washer and dryer. The door is being held on by a bungee cord. We want to be a defensive driver. So what I want you to learn from this is always be defensive, always look around, have good speed, have good space. There are a lot of traps here. So you want to leave yourself an out, O-U-T. Keeping good speed control. That vehicle to the left, never change lanes in the middle of an intersection. Someone might let this truck in, they might not. This is gonna be interesting. I'm keeping my space. Our speed control is pretty good. My blinker's on, but there's a car in my blind spot. So they waited for me, so I waved. Always be a courteous driver. I'm gonna get over one more lane to the right. And I wanna squeeze my brakes. And we want to see the rear of the tires on the ground. If we get rear-ended, we will have one collision. And then the second collision will be pushed into the car you're gonna see me make a right turn. I'm checking traffic. Teach people to check traffic. I'm gonna go into the nearest lane, and that is right here. We're gonna go into uh, this business area, shopping center. I'm gonna show you some fundamentals. Okay, we're scanning, we have pedestrians, we have cars, that car 
I'm looking their lightest on, so I'm scanning, left scanning, right. I have an arrow to guide me through. We're in North America, so I wanna stay on the right side. A lot of hazards, the baskets can blow. We have people running in. There's a person, I'm gonna yield for them. Just let them walk by. I would prefer that they would have made eye contact with me, but don't expect that. Pedestrians always have the right of way. I'm gonna look very carefully because I have to make a right. I'm gonna signal my intention. And this is a really tight area. There's a huge pothole here that could damage our car, so we don't wanna do that. And then I have to make a left. I'm looking for pedestrians. See the car speeding by? Lady not paying attention. I'm not trying to get hit. And they blew the stop sign. So this is a great development of what you need to do. You wanna have a complete stop. I'm gonna look, I'm gonna check. I'm there first. Another car backing up. This is a great area to take students. I am a certified instructor, so I've taken, there's another car. I'm gonna wave them by. So you have to teach your students to have good speed, good space, and always be defensive. Our lane positioning is pretty good. We're not over to the left side. We're gonna stay on the right side of the road. I'm already here, I see the pedestrian. I'm scanning being a defensive driver. This is a great opportunity for all of you to learn. If you're new, you need to be subscribing. If you already subscribed, good for you. We gotta go up to the stop sign, which is a regulatory sign. I wanna turn on my blinker. I'm looking and checking. Oh, I see a car coming. I'm gonna have a complete stop. Then I'm gonna proceed through. Regulatory sign, we're going on a one way. Going in nice and easy. This is a regulatory sign, a stop sign, S-T-O-P. So we wanna stop for three seconds, 1,001, 1,002, 1,003. That's the minimum. We're gonna go straight down. We're in North America. Look at our lane positioning, lane judgment, line to the right, line to the left. This is our visual reference point. We have the other line diagonal that teaches you depth perception because usually cars park here. Could this be a two-way? Yes. So we wanna to stay to the right. We're in North America. Great area to take beginners or someone who's been through trauma. And I'm gonna turn gently. And this is a partially controlled intersection. We have a stop sign. So we have to stop, S-T-O-P. I'm looking at the lady, but I'm gonna look forward even more. Okay, I'm gonna proceed through. Staying to the right side, because this is a two-way, T-W-O, T-O-W, two. TWO, I wanna stop. This is a fully controlled intersection. I wanna look and check. I'm staying in the middle right. I'm watching for cars and pedestrians. We don't wanna hit anyone and we don't wanna be hit. Going up to the stop sign. Then after I stop, we're going to make a right. Notice I come to a stop for three seconds. The car is centered. My blinker is on. I look left, right, left. I wanna move forward and then I turn hand over hand. And then I turn out hand over hand. We are the secondary road. We have to yield to oncoming traffic. There's a bike lane and I wanna turn and turn out slow. Bike lane is to the right. We do not drive on the bike lane. This is a unprotected left turn. We can only turn left or right. I wanna squeeze the brake.
You can have your hands at nine and three, 10 and two, or seven and five. It varies. You're gonna learn from me. You're gonna learn from video games. You're gonna learn from your parents. You're gonna learn from your bestie. You're gonna learn from your boyfriend, your girlfriend. Learn, have an open, O-P-E-N mind, M-I-N-D. Let's look at them turn. Came in kind of fast to the turn, out of position. I would mark them down. The lights are usually 35 to 55 seconds. They're activated by timers. And there's a camera that is up there. We have the light, but I'm still gonna be a defense. See the car's already coming, see the confusion? That's why you need to turn in the nearest lane. That was a good turn. You wanna have good speed, good space. Bike lane to the right, white edge line, depth perception, lane judgment. We're gonna be getting over to the right, mirror, turn signal, blind spot. Your learner should be able to demonstrate this. I'm gonna let them come over. If your learner can't demonstrate this, they need more lessons. I look at check, there's a pedestrian, we're clear. Turn in the nearest lane, L, 